morphology of flowering plants the plant body of an angiosperm the plant body of an angiosperm primarily consists of an axis which is differentiated into an underground root system and an aerial shoot system the roots firmly fix the plant in the soil and help in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil the aerial shoot system consists of a main stem lateral branches leaves flowers fruits and seeds on the whole the root stem and leaves are called vegetative organs as they are concerned with nutrition and growth while the flowers fruits and seeds are called reproductive organs as they are concerned with reproduction functions of the root system the primary function of the roots is anchorage and absorption however in some plants roots get modified to perform specialized functions visuals of some of the modified roots are shown here in the banyan tree prop roots support the huge tree in sugarcane stilt roots support the slender weak stem in rhizophora pneumatophores help to obtain oxygen from the atmosphere in leguminous plants nodulated roots help in nitrogen fixation in carrot radish and turnip roots act as storage organs and store food functions of the stem the primary function of the stem is to spread out branches bearing leaves flowers and fruits they also help in the conduction of water and mineral salts and carry out photosynthetic activity in some plants stems are modified to perform certain specialized functions like storage as seen in potato ginger turmeric etc support to weak stems in the form of tendrils as in cucumber protection in the form of horny thorns as in bougainvillea and vegetative propagation in the form of runner as in grass parts of a leaf the visual above shows the parts of a leaf a leaf is a flattened lateral outgrowth borne on the node of a stem typically it is green in color and is the chief photosynthetic organ of the plant a typical leaf consists of three parts namely leaf base petiole and lamina the lowermost part of the leaf by which the leaf is attached to the node of the stem is the leaf base it is protective in function petiole is the stalk of the leaf it raises the lamina to maximum exposure of sunlight lamina is the green expanded portion of the leaf it is the main seat of photosynthesis parts of a typical flower the flower is the reproductive unit in angiosperms it is concerned with sexual reproduction a typical flower as illustrated here has four different whorls which are arranged successively on the swollen end of the pedicle called thalamus the outermost whorl is the calyx whose individual units are called sepals inner to this is the corolla which is represented by petals these two whorls are called the accessory whorls the next whorl is the androsium which consists of the anther and filament the fourth and innermost whorl is the gynesium which consists of ovary style and stigma these two whorls are called the reproductive whorls the fruit we always associate fruits to be sweet and juicy botanically a fruit is defined as a ripened ovary which generally develops after fertilization the main function of a fruit is to protect the seeds and help in their dispersal let us take mango as a typical example to study the parts of a fruit a fruit consists of a fruit wall or pericarp and seeds the pericarp may be dry or fleshy when fleshy it is differentiated into an outer epicarp middle mesocarp and innermost endocarp enclosing the seed the seeds 
In angiosperms, seeds are enclosed within the fruits. They develop from ovules after fertilization and are the principal means of perpetuation of the species. Two types of seeds are noticed in angiosperms, namely monocotyledonous seed and dicotyledonous seed. The differences between the two are tabulated here. Relate the points of difference among the two along with their respective visuals. Floral formula of a flower. This diagram shows the floral formula of a flower. A floral diagram is a diagrammatic representation of theoretical transverse section of a flower in relation to the mother axis. It shows many characters of a flower. On the other hand, a floral formula is a symbolic representation of floral characters of a flower.